see you split, start the cycle, interface, that consists of three main parts, G1 is synthesis, G2, sit back and let us show you what these parts do. First comes G1, then S synthesis, G2 comes very last. There are checkpoints every now and then to make sure the cell's gonna last. G1 is first, it's when the cell gets bigger and bigger. Produces RNA, that's all I got to say, and it synthesizes protein later. The S phase is next, it's put to the test, it's a period of DNA replication. Going from 2N to 4N in preparation for mitosis. G2 is last, it goes pretty fast because after DNA replication, the cell keeps growing, then produces proteins. I just hope you know what I mean. But that's not all, we still have more mitosis and cytokinesis. But after that, the cycle's done, and I hope you understand this. Mitosis is next, it has four parts, we call those parts p -mets. Prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase, and cytokinesis after that. Prophase is first, it's when the chromosomes start to condense and the cell breaks down. Structures and builds others up, setting the stage for division. Metaphase is next. It's a middle stage, which makes sense if you think about it. The chromosomes are lined up in the middle of the cell, ready to divide any time now. Anaphase is next. This is when the sister chromatids are pulled towards opposite ends of the cell, but they haven't split yet. Last is telophase. This is when the cell is almost done dividing. Chromosomes start to decondense and it's almost back to normal. But now we're almost done. Cytokinesis is the last. It's the division of the cytoplasm to form two new cells. But that's all for the cell cycle.